Everybody's home, but I want to do a video and show you how to do, hold on. My little sleigh guy! Isn't that cute? Super easy, I think this will be a good one for um, teachers, another good one for teachers or daycare providers. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. Super easy. Hello. Um, Jersey, Hello. hanging out. You have to do your own toast. Okay, so, hey Allie. <clears throat> so I got these at Target, just smaller or a little bit bigger candy bars than a regular candy bar. You'll need candy canes and a glue gun to start out with, okay? So to get the sleigh portion, the bottom base sleigh portion, what I did is I hot glue gunned the candy canes to the bar, okay? So it takes it a little bit to get dry, but I just, oops. Sorry, we got crazy after school hours here at the APUs. Uh, Shalene's house, they say. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm just putting the glue, can't see it, the glue on the candy cane. And then I am putting the candy cane under the candy bar. Jersey, will you hold that up like that? Just put your finger right here. I have like... She's eating. We eat after school like they've never ate before. Okay, so we have one candy cane on. Jersey's going to put her finger there. And then I'm going to hot glue gun the second one. Okay. I'm hurrying. can only go so fast, love bug. Okay, so yeah. So Tammy, I was watching one of Tammy's lives. She was doing Tammy Eastlick on her team. She was doing craft day. And it is so true. I can never get crafts done without messing things up. Okay, so I'm going to show true. you. Flip you first. Okay, so there is the sleigh. So you have the chocolate bar. Leave it straying. And then two candy canes um, for the sleigh. Now, what I'm going to do is create, we feed the dogs, create a chunk bar soap. So you could choose any chunk bar soap. I'm using the Holly Jolly to stick with the theme. You're going to put any chunk bar soap on the upper part of the sleigh, okay? So, the top, babe. So, I'm just going to put hot glue on the bottom of the chunk bar soap on the wrapper and I'm going to set it. Oh, will you please feed him so he won't talk? I'm going to set it on the sleigh. Okay, sorry the viewing of the craft isn't that great. So we got that part of the sleigh done. Okay, so what I did for my um, snowman that I put on the front here is a lot of you guys have been using these bags to do bath bombs in. So I just took one of those bags. They come in like off Amazon in like a group of 200. I picked oats and shea because it was white. And I put two oats and shea in the bag. Okay? Just like this. Now I used tooling because I didn't know what I was going to do for the hat portion. I just used tooling because it's easy to tie. This is just glitter tooling, and I took it around the top and tied it, and I made a bow, so it kind of looks like a girl snowman. Oh, yeah, you did, Mom. Yep, I made a bow on her head. So, hold on, I'll show you. So, I just created a little bow on her head, and you can make it smaller or bigger, so it's a little girl. I can make a bow tie. You can make a bow tie, yep. But we're going to tie around her neck, too. And then what I did is I just cut off the top, okay? So, you have pretty much the base to your snowman. And then I got thinner ribbon. Got a full thing of this. It's got little snowflakes on it. And I cut a piece of that off. My scissors are not good. And I put it around the middle to create, you could do a bow, I just tied it like a scarf, like one time around, and then I finished and tied it one more time to stay tight. 
I'm farting. Jersey, that's rude. Farting. Go away. Excuse me. So that's a little long. And cut this side. Sorry, my scissors are bad. I'm going to cut this. The other ones aren't working either. So what happens when you only do crafts once a year. And so then it gives them a little scarf look. Then I just took, and I mean, it's pretty easy, you guys. doesn't take a lot of skill because I am not crafty by any means. Um, and you could glue them down. Like, that's kind of cute if I wanted to. I could hot glue them down like this. So let's see. Just put a little dab of glue there. Stick this one down. Put another little glue dot on there. Hot glue gun's amazing. You can do about anything with a hot glue gun. So then it crisscrossed it like this. Super cute, right? Then I took um, Bic Sharpies. And all I did was create two eyes. And I'm not artsy, you guys. So I just did two circles. Just want you guys to see that non-crafties can do this. Okay, so two circles with black. Then I took orange for the carrot nose. And I just did a sideways triangle. Oh, that's cute. See? Sideways triangle. And then I made dots for the smile. And then she did buttons. Yes, yeah, you gotta do buttons. Yeah, can I do them? No, I'm doing them. Mommy, I want Smile. Them. And then you I'm not gonna put buttons on this one unless you want to put buttons down there because I did the I scarf them. that way. But like this one. I did, um, could look more manly, I guess. It's got the three dots down the center. Okay. Manly. And then, so our sleigh's ready to go. And I'm going to, look, look, look. Just put the little snowman there. You could set him there so he can come off. I'm going to hot glue gun him on the bottom. Why, you This is why you don't get to do this. I get extra commentary. I want to do it. Okay. And so then you got your snowman on your edible sleigh with the chunk bar soap. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to sell these for. You got about a $9, $10 chunk. You got two bath bombs. The bars cost me a dollar. Um, and then the candy canes I just got in a big sack. So... I would say just a dollar here, nine here, so you're looking at ten. If you did these three, probably about fifteen dollars. I mean, that's super cute, you guys. It could go, I mean, you could even put a big fat yummy hand cream if you wanted a full set of something. Put like a big fat yummy hand cream on here. You could tie tooling around it and do a bow so it looks more like a package. I'll show you. And this is just thinking outside the box of things that someone would be able to afford in that um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 zone that you can get posh on the people, but then also share this turnover product. Okay, so just like that, I tied a bow on it. And it looks like a package on the back of the sleigh. And the snowman is taking the sleigh. Yay, so, hi. yeah. So, I'll give you a last little view of these two. I just wanted to come and just give you guys some more ideas of things that you can start creating for events. You can start marketing on your VIP page to be able to do pre-orders for. Because this is when you want to do pre-orders is now. So, you have time to make them. Hold on, I'll turn the camera and show you these. And then I'll show you a few other ideas if I have them up here. But, um, okay. So this is sleigh number one. This is the one where we just did it. Didn't take us all but a couple minutes. And then this is the one I did right before. Jersey said it took me three minutes. My little face is a little crooked. But super easy. 
I hope that's helpful. Um, doesn't cost too much to do and actually could be something fun to do with your kiddos. Look at my dirty fridge. Oh, don't look at my dirty fridge. All right, so we're off to make a few more of those. Hope that helps, guys. Keep working hard this weekend. Lots of things coming. Christmas getting closer. We're going to be talking about turkey trots. Lots of fun things for Thanksgiving. But start collecting those pre-orders. Share your ideas. I love to see them. Talk to you later. Bye. Mom.